Today I'm going to show you how to use Google Form in conducting survey uh, to collect uh, user feedbacks. Alright, so first of all, log into the Google Form by using your Gmail. Alright, then you will come into this page. First of all, give a title. For example, today I'm going to conduct a survey to know uh, student responses on e-learning. Okay. Then you can provide some of the descriptions, like for example, uh, definitions of e-learnings, and then all the objective of this uh, survey. Okay, objective, definitions, or any important instruction. Like for example. You can you uh you want to ask them to answer all the questions or only few of the questions, and then or maybe you can tell them what they will get at the end. All right, so start with the first question. So you can choose between uh multiple choice, uh check box, drop down, upload the files, all right, short answer or paragraph. So when you conduct the survey, uh you can have both open ended and also close ended question. Uh, for close ended question means that uh, you ask the you ask the people to answer either yes or no or you can give them a limited set of possible answer such as a b c or all of the above so close ended question are often quite good for surveys all right because you can get their response and then you can analyze them statistically you can see the graph and uh, this is what usually what we want with uh, survey data at the same time, you also can ask them an uh, open-ended question. Okay, write, uh, ask them to write a short paragraph about what they feel, what they think. So this is also a good way to know uh, what the user uh, think in their minds, okay, to share their own opinions. Alright, so let's say the first question start with uh, multiple choice. Okay, do you like e-learning? Then ask them to answer either yes or no. Okay, so you can make the question compulsory. You can duplicate the question as well if you want to ask another uh, multiple choice uh, question. Or you can select other type like chat box to give multiple choice for the user. Like for example, what device you use for e-learning okay first one mobile phone second one uh, laptop maybe third one tab okay or you can ask them to add others if they have if they are using other device so this is a chat box let's say you want to ask something about what you feel so you can use short answer okay maybe you can say in a sentence with five words for example describe what you learn from previous online classes yeah so you let the user to fill up their answers. So let's say if this is uh, the complete questionnaire that you have done, right? So you want to share. So how to share? And before that, make sure you put the title for well here. Okay. So you can go to send. Okay. You can choose uh, to collect their email address or not. Then you can click on the link. You can shorten the URL. Then you share this URL, or you can embed it in the website. Okay, so you can copy the links. And then how about the set setting? Some of the things you can set here. Like for example, if you want the user only uh, respond once, then you can check on this. And then you can select either you want to you enable them to edit after the submit or not, and then they can see the summary charts or not. 
about presentation you can show the progress bar or you can shuffle the question so this is quite useful if you need to make it like a quiz and also you can make it a quiz here alright but for questionnaire uh, we mainly focus on the setting under general you can preview your questionnaire so this is what the people will see when they receive your questionnaire okay and then you can select <clears throat> you can select the people under the preferences you can add the collaborators you can design you can change the colors so let's say if you want to see the response just move to the tab beside response okay so normally you will see start to see the response here or you can see it in the spreadsheet you can choose the choose to uh, change the response destination or not if you have some existing uh, spreadsheet to store the result you can continue from here or you can create a new one you can download the responses that will be in excel file .csv. okay so let's say create a new spreadsheet okay so you can see here later on the responses will be recorded here together with the timestamp okay so let's make a quick uh, quick testing on our form submit okay so this is what so this is what the user can see after that so they can edit or they can see some of the responses so you can decide what they see after they completed the survey all right so this is from our side from the admin side where you can start to see the graph the charts okay to summarize it based on questions based on individuals and then in the spreadsheet, you can see the timestamp. Okay, and then the responses. Then if you have uh, more than one record, you can start to do sort sorting as, as well. Okay, so very easy to use and uh, collect the feedbacks by using Google Form. Thank you. Alright, so um, you can use the videos from YouTube. So for example, I want to start with this video. Okay. Click edit. Okay, so you can crop the video as well. Like for example, some of the part you don't want your student to watch it or you only or you only want to limit the video to a particular section. Okay, like for example this one. Ten times faster than having a very small. Okay, so I will crop the video to only uh, two minutes and focus on the analogy of uh, hard drive and also RAM. Then next, I can proceed to add in the question. World terms. Hard drives let your computer hold more stuff. Things like music, photos, videos, applications, etc. Okay, so here I want to ask a question.
Alright, so this is my question. Then you click save. Alright, so later on, when the student watch the video, and then it will stop here, and students are required to answer the question. So you can proceed with another Ram questions. on the other hand. Either is it multiple choice, open-ended or not. So when you are done, just click finish. Then you can click assign. So normally I will on this, prevent skipping, so that students don't skip the video. And turn on the caption. And then you can share by post the links to the students. Or you can put in this code in Moodle. how the question looks like so I post around uh, seven questions and one last question at the end to test the understanding of the students after they watch the video show you how to share this to Moodle the LNS system that we are using so click assign all right so on okay on both public links okay then now under embedded code embed this video on your lms you can choose the size that you want i choose medium then you copy the link go to moodle website so under the topics you click add an activity or resource choose Level at okay, so you come into this page, then you will see one arrow down here. Click, go to the right side, you will see this uh, symbol represent HTML. Just click and paste the link just now. Okay. Alright, so when I'm done, go to save and return to course. So editing off. Alright, so you can see it already embedded to the Moodle. Then student can directly play from here and answer all the questions that you already said. Thank you.